art site. Uh, if you don't know what or where this is, Capitol Theater. It's right underneath the Capitol Theater, partially under the marquee. It is a uh, it is gallery space, and I'm going to go in right now and talk to a gentleman named Bernie about this. Now, this building, for those of you who don't know, you can just walk in, you know? I'll ask him his hours, but there's always something on display here, and you can just walk in and look at whatever's here, take a quick little walk. This is Bernie, Bernie Helling. What is your title here again, my man? I'm artistic coordinator. Artistic coordinator. Christine says, our administrative coordinator. Christine, the people do not disturb the people behind the curtain, is, uh, is wonderful as well. I just wanted to, uh, this was intriguing to me, this, this exhibit. I'd like you to tell me what it is. When I see something that says free bowl, uh, it's intriguing because I used to lawn bowl. People well, don't know this about me. You know all those, you know, all those uh, white-haired uh, folks over at Jackson Park? I was one of them. I didn't wear a wig or anything, but I love this game. I love it. Not bocce, lawn bowling. So when I see bowl and it isn't with pins, I'm interested in, in what's happening. So tell me... Well, what, what are you doing? What's going on? Okay, this is part of uh, Michael Coolidge's uh, Free Bowl. He's done this in a few cities already. Uh, if you turn it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, Whoa. This is the, trophy. the Legends of Free Bowl trophy. The Legends of Free Bowl trophy. <laughs> As you can see, Halifax, Calgary. This, this show's been around. I want to just get a little image of him. Yeah. This show's been around. And uh, in every city it goes to, uh, Michael Coolidge spreads the word, he was down for a week, of free ball. His idea of doing a few practice rounds in the gallery, using yes. the gallery as a clubhouse, yes. going out into the streets and playing uh, a kind of freestyle version of lawn bowling. Now the thing about uh, bocce or lawn bowling, when you play this um, on your lawn or something, uh, usually those, those, uh, uh, the things you throw are made out of some kind of hard plastic or something that could be damaged by throwing it on, say, right. concrete. So this is, this is a nice these plastic. Are, these are very, they have very little bounce. They have a lot of roll, but they don't have a lot of bounce. They're pretty damaged. You can see. And so the, you're encouraged to come in here, practice, and then hit the street and play. Yes. And so how is this, uh, I mean, what's his project, what's he trying to achieve by having this in an artistic sense? Well, uh, the con concept is kind of like the urban running parkour okay. idea, where people, you know, run through the city, climb, uh, climb buildings, jump over things, and basically take over and remap an urban space yes. uh, by using it unconventionally, if perhaps at the borderlines of uh, convention or even legality. Right. Uh, in this case, nothing so radical. He just assumed, you know, suggested uh, one should get to know one's downtown or one's urban areas much better by the simple expedient of playing. Playing. Playing bocce ball variant. And, and, and for those of you who don't know, whether it's lawn bowling or bocce, they are different games, but you, you throw a, uh, a target ball out into the street, into the grass, into whatever, and then, uh, the, and then it's a lot like horseshoes. Uh, yeah, you play it where it lies, and everybody, there's two teams, and you throw to try and be as close as you can um, without moving about. And uh, you get points like it's like it's like curling and horseshoes and all these other games uh, mixed together. It's a lot of fun. So, have you had very many people scoring playing? Yes. Yeah, here's the guide to scoring points. Now, this is this is here till Saturday. Did you say? This is here till Saturday. It's been here for a month already. So, if you want to play, just come in. Come in. Grab what? What's the grab what's the process? Balls, grab some marker balls. Grab some uh, grab some score scorecards. Well, this this is to this is when it gets really close. Yeah, the this measuring is, tapes. This is when it gets really close. Uh, put your put yourself down. We've had a few people who who come in. Oh, this is awesome. And so this is the actual scores who yeah. who uh, who won and who lost and when yeah, the game took a, place. There's a few others. The, oh, some some makeshift cards. People have decided. Uh, some people are shy and don't want to put themselves up on the on the board uh, on the game. Well, uh, in some cities, it's been a lot more organized. But he encourages you to basically bend the rules or make them as you you know as you uh, so care. So it's maybe more frisbee than uh, right. 
So, but this, this, is, this is out of the ordinary, I think, for art site shows is usually you come in, you look at the art, maybe you interact with the art in the space, but you don't take it out. So this is a, this is a unique event, you know, uh, exhibit for you, right? Oh yeah, yeah, but we wanted it, we wanted it uh, for a year and a half, and uh, we, we brought it in specifically as part of the summer festiv festivities around the uh, visual fringe. Yes. And we had storefronts all, uh, we had art in storefronts, we had art in local bars, and, yep. uh, and this is just the, the, uh, the, it lasted a little longer than uh, the rest of it, so it's, it's going till Saturday, come on by. When are the hours in, the, in this, of this gallery, generally speaking, so people can know when to check noon, out anything? Noon to five, uh, come by around 12.30, one or so, you can, we're here at six most of the time. Noon to five or noon to six most of the time. Thanks very much, Bernie. Okay. I'm going to give you one, I, I, I really like this, uh, this image of this game being played in some weird university uh, <laughs> study area or something. I like someone actually took over a mini golf course. Yeah, come on down here. It's, it's really fun. And like you said, you, you get to redefine your downtown by engaging with it in a new way. Come on out. <laughs> the Polisher construction will make it interesting. Art site. Come visit this gallery. 109 University Avenue West. 109.